this head of mine last night I was so afraid of the thing last night was crazy well to bring you guys up to par I was vlogging last night or yesterday and oh my god okay I was vlogging yesterday <clears throat> And I just got done vlogging, and uh, sorry about my nail, y'all broke. Um, oh, it fell. It it did break. These are my real ones. But anyway, let me get. I'm getting off track, or getting off subject. Um, like I said, vlogging yesterday, and all of a sudden, or Kelly was loading the dishwasher, and all of a sudden, I seen it was like shiny on the floor. So. I looked and I was like, oh my God. I said, oh my God. Because our whole floor was flooding. Like, whole floor flooding. It was about a good inch, a puddle inch in our dining room. And it was traveling in our, uh, traveling in our hallway. Girl. Kelly and I grabbed like all our towels, whether they're face towel, hand towel, dry off towel. We dr grabbed covers. <laughs> we didn't know what to do. Daddy wasn't home, so oh uh, my god. But then, after that, oh my freaking goodness, because after that, after we soaked up all the freaking water. We went to Pepe. Happy birthday, Pepe. We went to Pepe's uh, B-Day party. She turned three. And it was all the way out in Azel. If you guys know where Azel is. Well, if you guys know the DFW area, kudos. But if you know Azel, it's probably about an hour away from, well, about 45 minutes, almost an hour away from where I live. So Kelly and I had to travel out there, and then we traveled back. But when we came back, I went to check on the, cause I, the towels were soaked, so I like draped them over the um, balcony area, so or the um, outside area. Um, Y'all, excuse my eyebrows too. Oh my god, this COVID is jacking everything up. But anyway, um, I'm distracted. But anyway, I went out there to check on the um, towels and stuff. I was moving the towels because I was wanting to clean and sweep out there anyway because I do my morning workouts or I do all my workouts up there other than my, um, like, running the track. Um, but I went out there and, girl, tell me why there is a big ass, big, big, when I say, <laughs> God, when I say big, it was, Alarming like big lizard the body had to be about like that not even freaking joking like this And the it, it, it was thick it was so thick and that is not even including the legs the arms and the you know the um, Tail Nor the head the body was like that. I was like I was sweeping and I thought it was a big leaf and I went over there and I was like hmm Oh my god, watch this clip, y'all. Guys, look what's on. Oh, hell no. My <laughs> he threw a water and shit at it. Look what's on our. Look, hold on. Oh god, can y'all see it? Can y'all see that? It's like that thing right there. It's right there. With the lizard.
and I was cleaning up, but I was moving stuff around, and I did. I thought that was it was a leaf, a big ass leaf, but it's not. I was like, "What do you do? Throw water at it?" Yeah. Goodness. Told you. And that didn't even do it justice, y'all. That did not do it justice. And that was after, hold on, was that? No. That was when Daddy first got home and I was like out there doing everything and then or cleaning and then all of a sudden I was like <gasps> I just started calling Mike Mike babe 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 he was like okay one of the tray shenanigans probably and he came out he was like let me go get the food I was like oh <laughs> he knows I don't like reptiles he knows I don't like bugs I barely like animals like getting close to me um I could do little dogs and stuff like that but Mm 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 mm, y'all. I was freaked the f out. I, w I I couldn't sleep. I couldn't even go out there. I'm even afraid to go out there today because I wanted to clean up out there and do a little bit of um, clean up, sweep, go ahead and mop. Mike, we even Googled how to get rid of like lizards, like outside lizards and stuff. They said eggshells. Mike was throwing them. He threw. <laughs> at least four eggs I said don't use all my eggs <laughs> it was crazy and then they were saying like hot sauce tobacco sauce um and what was they were saying um like mace so we grabbed Kelly's mace from college we were like well I wasn't he was spraying and then he started coughing I was like oh my god he's gonna die but it's always eventful when I'm around. <laughs> oh, goodness. Love you, Daddy. But, guys, I'm about to get up. I'm going to make me some coffee. Make me a little breakfast. Um, it is 9.09 right now. I slept in a little bit. I've been up for a little bit, though. I've been up for about... Mm, probably like 5.30, 6 o'clock. So, i just been roaming around in the, in the bed and I went back to sleep and then I got back up and then I went back to sleep and then my camera which is well here it was over here my camera was set on the alarm to turn on and my light too so I was like let me just get up but guys I'm up let me literally get up and make me something to eat and see if daddy wanna omelet or something I don't know now I think I'm gonna make some oatmeal I'm gonna try that oatmeal that I bought y'all seen it at my Walmart or like mini Walmart grocery run or something like that I'm gonna try that oatmeal with some fruit um, and see what that's working with so let me get my tail up oh my god and uh guys I am up about to make me a little breakfast um, doing the joy in life uh, routine um, she posts a little bit on her um, IG and her IG story on like pre-workout post-workout and just breakfast ideas um, so what I'm gonna do got my bowl here and then it says half a cup of the oats so I'm gonna use the old-fashioned oats the 100% whole grain oats like I said, I don't eat oatmeal, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. And then this is a cup of water that I'm just going to put in there. Salt is optional, but I'm not going to use any salt. And then it says to microwave it on two and a half to three minutes. I'm going to do two and a half. So I'm going to bring it right over here. Let me move it so you can kind of see everything that I'm doing. There. 
I'm gonna bring it over here. Oh, daddy got some food in here. He ate that last night. I think it's like some roasted potatoes and a steak. Yep, roasted red potatoes. All right, so I'm gonna put this in here. I'm this off, but it's okay. Two and a half minutes. Put that in there. Go ahead and clean up my little mess. And then once it gets done, I'm gonna go in and put a scoop of honey almond butter in there the creamy I don't like the crunchy and then I'll go in with the clover honey just to add a little bit of sweetness so I won't be tempted to put no sugar in there because bad news bears bad news bears all right so while that's going I'm gonna go I'm gonna just grab my spoon and just go ahead and mix my uh, Almond butter, just because almond butter sometimes I like to stick in the fluid stays on top, but I really like it well mixed because I want like all of the nutrients and the goodness. So I'm going to just make sure that's nice and creamy, which it is. I love it. So I'm just going to put a scoop of that in there drizzle some honey i'm gonna wait i still got about a minute and 10 seconds so um yeah just talk to y'all i ain't did nothing to my hair there's kelswell she just got off work um but I ain't did nothing today like i woke up with you guys literally but while that's going to make my coffee too i never use folgers i usually use the breakfast blend and I think, I don't know what brand it is because daddy usually gets it, but going on with the Folgers because that's what I got yesterday. And while that is going, I'm just going to get my coffee. After I go wash, like I was telling y'all, our floor, our dishwasher flooded yesterday and our whole floor was just mad, you know. So, like I said, we was grabbing all the towels, face towels, hand towels dry off towels, comforters, covers, anything to soak up the water until the guy came to fix it. Um, but that's what I'll be doing today. So I'll need to get some goodness in my stomach and some Acrite juice, gather all this stuff uh, and head there. Hopefully by the time I eat and everything, Kelly's vanity should be delivered. Um, so she can come and help me with these towels because the towels is gonna be heavy. I know she probably need to wash her comforter, things like that. So let's see how that oatmeal is going. Okay. Let me get my little oven mitts, guys. And if you guys have not checked my little thing out, got these from Dollar Tree, actually. I love Dollar Tree. Sucker for Dollar Tree. Okay, so there's my oatmeal there. And what I'm going to do is put my little spoonful in there, kind of mix it around. Here, show y'all. There. Kind of mix it around until it's nice and melted off like that. Melted off the spoon just to kind of give it, ooh, it smells good too. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of almond milk in there too. Just kind of give it a little cream, creaminess, a little bit. Uh, yeah, so it was the community breakfast blend. Yeah, the community breakfast blend. That's what I was using, the medium. We're on to Folgers now. Best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. I'm just kidding. Eight ounces. <sighs> Yeah, so I'm gonna add, because I don't like my oatmeal thick like that, so I'm gonna add some almond milk. I was gonna add some fruit up in there, but 
I didn't feel like cutting it up. Just being lazy today. And I'm going in with the vanilla. So just a little bit in there. I mean a little bit, I mean a little bit. Yes. Yes, so I like it like this. More of like a creamy instead of like, God, I want it to stick to my stomach, but not literally stick to my stomach. You know. Add a tad bit more because once it's sit, it likes to thicken up. And then next. Just gonna stir that in. I can smell that almond butter it smells so good. This actually smells really good. I don't know why I'm not an oatmeal person, but it's really good for you. I'm gonna drizzle some honey. There you go. And voila, put this back in the oven. So that's my breakfast, guys. My, um, grab my creamer for my coffee. And going in with the Italian sweet cream. Put a little bit of sugar in there because the Italian sweet cream is sweet enough. And I am not shy on the creamer, as y'all know. Alrighty, righty. So yeah, guys, this is it. <laughs> There's that. There's my oatmeal and my coffee i'm about to put this back in the refrigerator and i'm about to go sit edit watch some girlfriend oh <laughs> Ooh. There, do thinking thing. i love some girlfriends so i'm about to make my way to the room eat my oatmeal and drink my coffee i should be acting right right about that time and yeah, y'all, I am um, gonna go eat. Guys, I am at the laundromat, guys, and I just wanted to come to y'all to tell y'all that I know it's a rough time, like, in our culture, in our community, and most of all, last but not least, um, like, in politics and um, the COVID and the pandemic and everything, but be kind, be respectful, um, be nice. I know everybody's up in a... I, I don't know everybody has been impatient one time or another throughout all this, but if you're in a public place that to where you have to share space, say excuse me, say thank you, say please, like use your freaking manners. I have this one girl, <sighs> we're gonna call her Sarah, okay? Sarah, was coming my way, I was coming her way, you know? I had the right of way. Like, I had the right of way. Shout out to Miss LaVon Green. She made these uh, for us um, at my job. But anyway, I was going her way, she was coming my way. My thing is, is be respectful of people's space. And if you're passing them, yes, if you're pa in, in passing of somebody, say excuse me. Especially if you're invading that space. You know what I'm saying? If you're cutting through or going through, say excuse me. I had Sarah come through. And she just going to stop in front of me. And so I looked at her. I was like, mm. So I stopped. 
because if I wouldn't have stopped, we would have ran into, ran into each other. So, you know, I stopped. So she's coming my way, I'm going her way. She just looks at me. I look at her ass, like, what? She continues to look at me, I continue to look at her. Mask and all, like, you, you know what I'm talking about with my eyes. I communicate with my eyes. See that? So, I gave her the look, like, the mom look or whatever. She's still looking at me. I said, you don't know how to say excuse me? She's still looking at me. I don't know if she didn't understand what I was talking about or didn't understand English, but she knew what I was talking about. So I said, look, hey, you be the bigger person. So I move around. When I move, she started moving. And I said, you know what? I hate rude people. All you have to do is say, excuse me. How hard is that? How hard is that? So she beat up there peeking at me like. Kelly noticed it. So I'm like staring her down, staring her down. Cause you gonna respect me. I don't request or recommend respect. I demand it. Like, no, you're not about to treat me like somebody that don't deserve respect. Well, everybody deserves respect. You know, just human beings just deserve, deserve respect. Like, I don't get it. Y'all be kind, be patient. I know it's hard to be the bigger person at times because we're all grown and you should know better, you know, but some people don't. So let me finish washing my clothes. Clizzy clothes, they're in the dryer right now. Dryer. And I'll be back. <laughs>